Okay, so <clears throat> this is lesson 46 morning meeting, and you were to write a story problem for 10 minus 9, which equals 1. And so here's my example. You have something similar, I'm sure. Tony had 10 cookies, but gave 9 cookies to Jim. How many cookies does Tony have now? One cookie. So you want to start with this number, right, and take this number away. So you start with 10. Somehow, 9 of whatever your thing is, like mine was cookies, 9 went away, and you're left with 1 left. And remember, your story problem has to have a question. So you got your little story set up with your 10 and your 9, and then you have to say how many whatever do do they have left now? And you have to have that question mark here, capital mark, capital H here. Okay, those are important to have that question. And the next thing was the pattern. So you had to figure out what the, the rule was here. 75, 50, 25. Well, I recognize those as quarters, so I can see that is taking 25 away every time. So it's minus 25. So now I have to think, going back, 25 more than 75 would be 100. 25 more than that is 125. 25 more than that is 150. 175, 200, 225. Sorry, this is getting hard to write at this angle. 225. Okay, so that was your pattern. And then you had to figure out, we had two quarters, two dimes, two nickels, and two pennies. And that was eight coins altogether. So you have to count 25, 50, 60, 70, 75, 80, 81, 82. And you either write it, well, you have to write it both ways, 82 with a cent sign, or, and the other way is a dollar sign, zero dollars, there's no dollars, just 82 cents, decimal, and then 82 over here. I added it up a different way for you, just to show you another way to think about it. You could add up your quarters, that's 50, your dimes, 20, your nickels came to 10, and pennies were 2. So then I went... 50 and 20 make 70, and 10 and 2 make 12, and then I said 70 and 12 make 82. Just another way to, to count your coins. Okay, the other thing you had to do was write 5, 10 in the morning, and we know morning is a.m., and so this would be, you know, before you get up for school. So where does the 5 o'clock hour hand go? Well, it's a little bit past the 5. I'll try to make that as straight as I can, right? And it's short because it, because it's the hour hand. It's short. And it's just a little bit past the 5 hour mark. And then the 10 minute mark is the minute hand. And it's longer. And it touches the 2. Okay? So this would be 5, 10 a.m. And the other thing you had to do was come up with a number sentence for 70. Uh, maybe you did 35 plus 35. I don't know what you picked, but I'm sure it's something fantastic. 60 and 10 make 70. All right, so that's your morning meeting. Bye-bye.